One Bean, written by Anne Rockwell, here's by Megan Halsey. One Bean. I had one bean. It was dry and smooth and hard. I put it on a wet paper towel. I covered it with another wet paper towel. Soon its skin had turned all wrinkly. My bean had gotten fatter too. I think it got too fat for its skin because the skin split. This meant it was time to plant my bean. I filled a paper cup with black potting soil. Then I laid my fat wrinkly bean in the cup and covered it with soil. I watered it when the soil was dry. Even though I couldn't see my bean hidden under the damp black soil, I watched for it every day. Then one day, just like in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, something wonderful happened. A greenish white stalk poked up from the soil. My bean was dangling from the end of it. Soon, two leaves grew on my bean plant. These were shaped like valentine hearts. More green heart-shaped leaves sprouted. My bean plant grew bigger and bigger. It needed a bigger place to live and grow. I filled a flower pot with potting soil. Very gently, very carefully, I took my one bean with its bright green leaves and roots spreading through black moist soil out of the paper cup. I planted it in the flower pot where it could stay. Sunshine shone on it and made my bean plant grow some more. One day, I saw lots of little green bumps on my bean plant. Those little green bumps were buds. The buds burst open and lots of white flowers blossomed among the green, green leaves. When the white flowers fell off, tiny, tiny bean pods hung on their pla in their place. Before long, there were lots of bean pods growing on my beautiful bean plant. Those tiny bean pods grew bigger. One day, I picked one. I split it open and looked inside. What do you think I saw? I saw some smooth and shiny beans shaped just like the one bean that had started it all. I picked a few pods and ate the beans that grew inside them, and they were very, very good. All right, friends, so right here it talks about more activities that you can do with beans. It says that you could save the seeds that you find in fruits and vegetables that you eat, observe their size, color, and shape, and at the end of the week count how many seeds you saved. Try to remember which fruits and vegetables the seeds came from. It said you could make a mosaic of dried beans glued on cardboard. And that's fun to do because beans come in many different colors and sizes. Or the last activity is to place dried beans in a paper towel to close the ends with tape and make a musical instrument. You can use your bean instrument like a maraca and play along to a favorite song. Or you could do like they did in this book with a bean and see if you can get a bean plant to grow, just like our friends did in this story.